Good morning, Year 5. Um, today we are going to be looking at how to use the single dash in our writing. Um, now these slides are available on the school website and they can be used alongside this video or by themselves. So before we begin our lesson, we would like you to have a go at the starter, which revises your understanding of parenthesis. When you have finished the starter, press play to move on to the next slide for the answers. Right, so as I already mentioned, today we are learning how to include a dash to add extra information at the end of a sentence. Um, we are doing this because although many of you do have a good understanding of this punctuation, it is often something um, that is missed in your writing and therefore um, we felt like it was really important um, to have a good practice um, of how to use the single dash uh, during this lesson. The first thing we would like you to do is to have a go um, at the bronze, silver and gold tasks on this slide. So we'd like everyone um, to do to work through all three of the tasks. Um, and we are thinking about words to describe the thoughts and feelings of Stanley as he is digging his first hole. Now, on the following slides, there are some um, words, a list of words that I have written um, just to give you some ideas if you need them. Um, however, we would like you to try and do this independently um, before moving on to the next slide, if possible. So in this sentence, um, we see um, a single dash. So pain caused through every muscle. He was overcome with exhaustion. Now, I want you to take a moment, pause the video and think about um, what is this punctuation? What job does it do? Now, when you're ready, press play. As I'm sure many of you will have identified, um, both clauses in this sentence make sense by themselves. So they are both uh, simple sentences which um, can stand alone by themselves and still make sense. In addition, the second clause relates to the first clause. Um, so it connects to the first clause in some way and it has to do this when we use the single dash or the sentence will not make sense. Um, so here we have written uh, the rules on how to use a single dash um, if you need to be reminded. We would now like you to have a go um, at the next task, uh, answering this question. So has a dash been used correctly in each sentence below? And think about why as well. So um, the dash has been used correctly in the last sentence. So with sadness in his heart, Stanley hung his head. He wished he could be at home. So um, as we have already discussed, the two clauses make sense by themselves and the second clause relates to the first one. Now, if we look at the first sentence, Stanley was exhausted and desperately wanted to rest. This final part is part of the first sentence, but is part of the of the sentence. It is not a separate clause and it doesn't make sense by itself. Now, if we look at the second uh, sentence, the reason this is incorrect, sweating and panting, Stanley thought of ways he could get out of digging. He began eating breakfast. Um, now, the second clause does not connect in any way to the first clause. He is not eating breakfast at the moment. He is out in the desert um, digging holes. Um, therefore, it doesn't make sense and it is an incorrect use of how to use the single dash. So again, we have um, our rules on how to use the single dash, just to help remind you, um, and, a, and an example of how to use it correctly. So Stanley looked over the network of hills, his heart sank. Now, I am now going to model an example for you on how to use the single dash correctly in a sentence. Feeling dejected. Stanley trudged to bed. He had never felt so low. And Stanley shook x-rays hand. So I'm going to stop there. 
I would now like you to pause the video, complete the second sentence, and write two of your own sentences using a single dash. And when you're ready, press play. So on this slide, there are some examples for you. So if you are, if you need reminding again, you can look at this slide for some examples of how to use a single dash correctly. Now, here we have the tasks of what we would like you to do for this lesson. So for bronze, we would like you to put in the dash in the correct place in the sentence. For example, envious and sorrowful, Stan looked at Zero's hole. He wished he could, he wish, that's a small mistake there. He wished he could dig faster. So we would put our single dash here. Both, if you read it through again, both clauses make sense by themselves. And the second clause relates to the first one. For um, silver, we would like you to complete the sentence with some adding some extra information after the first clause. So Stanley ate breakfast quickly. He was ravenous. As you can see here, the second clause relates to the first one. It is connected in its content. Now for gold, we would like you to write four or five sentences, including a dash to add extra information at the end to express how Stanley is feeling. Um, and once you have worked through all of these tasks, because we would like everyone to start off on bronze and work through all of them, um, you can have a go at um, the challenge, which is to include parenthesis. Um, so show me that you can use parent parenthetic dashes as well as a single dash in one sentence. So for example, Stanley um, who whose arms ached dropped the shovel in exhaustion, in exhaustion, he had never felt such dejection. So when you have finished all of those uh, tasks, um, all those tasks can be found as PDFs on the school website, um, you can go on to the next slides um, for the answers to bronze. Um, and there is also a reflection shape um, for you to assess um, how well you've done today. Okay, thank you very much, Year 5.